Hey everybody, well, welcome back to part two of the Easter Crochet Collaboration. I'm Eponius's Allies, otherwise you guys know me as Charlene. Eponius's Allies, like I said, is my channel name. Um, and it's okay if you can't pronounce it, you gave it a go. <laughs> Um, it's hard for some people to pronounce. So, um, we're back to this, and this is okay, because we left off in that spot, and we are back to that today. I know, now it's sounding a little bit Dr. Suits. <laughs> Our lips are really not loose. Um, so I'm going to take this around one maybe two more times before I start taking it back in. I really love the pattern that Pink Butterfly is using. I think that is so adorable. I saw that. I commented. I left a thumbs up. Oh my gosh. You make some of the cutest, not some of, just the cutest stuff. Uh, one of my longtime followers, Beth Raz, she, she, um, uh, told me about this nonprofit where people can, uh, make some knit and or crocheted items for people that have gone through some things in their life and I think that's absolutely wonderful let's say like you make a bunch of knit or a crocheted thing but you need them to go somewhere but you don't know where to send them and uh yeah I, I really think that's an awesome idea you know but, you know, they can't be shaped like what we make here. Of course, our little, our little cutie pies are right here on the desk. Yes, they are. They're just, as you can see. Um, I finished him. As you can see, he is finished. All the way to his little tail on the back. He's got a little tail. Got all of his limbs and a little tail. I thought I'd feature that today to let you guys know. Today he's finished. He does actually sit on his little tushy. Oh, he knocked his little friend over. Anyway, they are finished. But back, back to this. Back to this, Bob. Anyway, <laughs> let's have a little fun. Why not, right? <laughs> Oh, that's what this uh, this collaboration is about. It's all about fun and being happy and positive and keep going and yeah, that's that's exactly what this is about. This is about making each other, you know, be happy and have a positive thing to do and have a positive outreach. That. That's what this is about, but it's mostly about fun. Mostly about the fun. And I love how this is coming together because the colors in this are just outstanding. I mean, look at that so far. Just wunderbar. Only speak a little bit of certain languages. Um, don't ask me how I even know them. I don't even know how I know those. But I just know. I guess I picked up on a little bit here and there when I was a kid. But uh, that's okay. Learning is a good tool. And learning something new every day is good. It is. Keeps the mind going. Keeps you crisp. Keeps you like the crispiest potato chip in the bag. 
a little more of this out. See, I just put that on the end of my finger and roll some of that out. Now the fine yarn like this, I could take and make, I don't know, let's say if you get it in a bigger skein, I would make a tank top out of it, seriously. Or one of those uh, tank top dresses that you just slip on for the beach with a um, nice pair of shorts underneath. A good bra, but a nice pair of shorts underneath. You know what I mean. Okay, take one more round on this. Or I could pull it back, but I think I'll just go until I'm like my round over because I went past my tail line. And then uh, we'll start taking it in from that point because I really want you guys to experience what I'm making. I so, so cannot wait to see when Pink Butterfly starts her bunny. That's going to be so cute. This is going to be a multicolored bunny. She has her pattern. I love that pattern. I'm just like looking at the stuff she's made and that's how you know, I came up with doing this. Um, you know, the cylinder body is what I did for this one. This little guy right here. Um, so yeah. So again, that's what I'm doing for this is the cylinder body. Which I think is going to turn out pretty darn cool. Pretty darn cool. Okay, we are almost back around where that tail starts and then we'll start taking this in. This actually isn't going to be a small bunny to tell you the truth. That's not going to be small. But you have to count in the head and the limbs. Really do you have to count in the head and the limbs. And this is just the torso portion. So yeah, you really got to count in the head and the limb. Now, if you're around Michael's Crafting, Michael's Crafting is still having a yarn sale. They always have a yarn sale going on. They always have some sort of sale going on. They are having a sale going on. Um, so... Go check that out. Make sure. Okay. Got my shot just a little bit past, but we can pull that back. Right about there. Maybe. Let's see. Yep, I got it right about there. And that matches up with the tail yarn, which is right there. And this, my friend, is where you skip. Okay, you skip this one. Don't mind that. That was just a piece of my heat therapy the controller. Um, you skip this one and go to the next. Take that. And what I'm going to do is pull it. Now you can do a, you can do that different. And then go through that again. Go like this. Go like that. Skip over to the second one. And then do that again. 
And I'm doing this for a particular reason. I'm going to start just pulling in. And we're going to try to do this quick. This says I'm low on storage. Which I shouldn't be, but who knows. <laughs> I tried to clear out enough storage, but who knows. Um, so you just do that, and then we're going to come all the way around. I'm really tired today. I had stuff I had to go do. Um, then I have stuff to go do tomorrow. Yeah, I have weekend stuff to go do. And then my, this weather has been really odd. Just when you think it's going to clear up and be warm. Nah. <laughs> Just wants to play havoc with the bones. Well, this time I want the third one over. Then I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go the third one over. And just start pulling this in. Third one over. Start pulling it in. Sorry for the noise in the background. It's my friend's daughter. She knows I'm making a video. This is starting to be pulled in. I, yes, that is scallop edge, but it is going to be pulled in. Again, third one over. Take it back through there. Like I said, I'm not making today's video as long as yesterday's. Yesterday was a complete intro into this. Um, I'm really tired today. I think it's mostly because of the pain. I have to really manage my fibroid malja. Um, but I'll tell you what, I don't let it beat me. I just don't let fibroid malja beat me. I have too many things to look forward to in life. To let things get me down. That's right. Too many things to look forward to in life to let things get me down. And when you have things to look forward to... It's more positive to keep you going. That's right. Never think, like I said, never think that you can't do anything. You have to put your mind to it. Always put your mind to the yes, you can do it because you know you can. Okay. And then that pulls us right back to that first one, right there. So what I'm going to do is just pull that through and then skip over. And this is how I bring it in tight. Not everybody does this. You don't have to do this the way I do it. You absolutely don't. 
but this is just how I do this. Just start pulling this in everybody does their crochet different and I'm using my ring light for light because it's really dim out today it's really like crap weather again it rained today but I don't know <sighs> yeah I don't want the rain <laughs> sure you didn't want to keep it over on your side of the pond there <laughs> pink butterfly <laughs> uh. <laughs> and I don't wish the rain on you over there trust me uh. rain is just so dreary so dreary nobody like we don't want the rain here's the funny thing is we don't want rain but we don't want it to be too hot but we don't want it to be too cold it, it's like Goldilocks and the three bears right we don't want the porridge to be too hot we don't want it to be too cold we want it to be the bowl that's just right but uh, that blonde girl ate it <laughs> <laughs> right the blonde girl ate your porridge <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's funny oh you know what maybe that just gave me an idea for something to like crochet uh, Goldilocks and the three bears that would be fun That would be fun. Maybe we should just get a group of crocheters together and just do our own version of a fairy tale um, characters. I think that would be interesting. I don't know. Leave that in the comments. Maybe that should be like the next thing. It's like, um,. I always try to come up with something that would be kind of trendy. Something kind of kitschy. Something kind of catchy. Something that will bring people back. Because you can't do the same thing all the time. I mean, I'm still in the beauty community. Don't get me wrong. But you can only do so many makeup looks. Don't get me wrong with that. You really can. You can only do so many makeup looks. And then everybody ends up doing the same look. Over and over and over and over and over. Until it gets to that point, you know. Although, I think... James Charles is thinking about coming out with a new cosmetic soon. I think it was either a concealer. I think it's a concealer or a highlighter or something like that. I don't know. Or a lip color. I'm not sure. But see how that's pulling in? That's pulling in nicely. Yeah, it's pulling in rather nicely. And what I've been doing for these videos is I pre-record and then upload them the following day. So what you're watching has been pre-recorded the day before. And um, it actually kind of helps me because I get really tired. I do. I get really tired. And um, it does kind of help me. But 
way I can try to just go to sleep at a certain time. I used to try to stay up later to watch later videos, but I just get so tired from the pain lately, I have to try to go to sleep at a certain time. Then I catch up on people's videos later. I'm pretty sure you guys understand that. So, like I said, this is pulling in nicely. And that'll be for around the neck area. This is the bottom. This will be the neck area. So this will be a pretty good size stuffy. Um, it's bigger than this. And it's way bigger than this. <laughs> so, um, it's nice to know that it will definitely be bigger than the stuffed animal. Um... It might almost be as big as the teddy bear that I had made for uh, Doug Paulson Jr. Yeah, you know what? It might be about as big as that teddy bear. That was a good sized teddy bear. Pretty much. It was way bigger than this, I'll tell you that. But uh, this is such a cutie patootie, isn't it? got to figure out what to do with this. Let me know, guys. What should I do with this? Just such a cute little thing. Its ears are all crooked, and that's what makes it cute. It's got its little crooked tail. Little cutie patootie. Oh, and one thing I will be doing for a very long time viewer of mine that's been there for me for a lot of things and especially hard times in my life. <laughs> I don't know if she wants me to say this. All right, it's Beth Raz. I'm just going to say it. It's Beth Raz. She has been on this channel as a viewer of mine and we've been we've become friends um she likes the arm knit scarf that i made and i was talking to her earlier and she was talking about the scarf and i'm going to be making her one because she has been there for me through some very, very rough times in my life. And I would like to get back to her. And so we talked and I'm going to be giving back to a viewer that has actually been there for me through some rough stuff. And, you know, it's nice to be able to give back to a viewer that has become a friend. I mean, you know, this is even for a fellow creator that's, you know, going through something that's become a friend. And, uh, you know, right there you see how I just did that. And it's nice and clean. And it's ready for the head for when I'm ready to do that. And then that way I can just attach it and it's all clean. Even though um, a lot of people would just leave that open. I don't want to leave that open. I noticed Pink Butterfly doesn't leave hers open. Um, and then you have the bottom, which I won't close off. I know that looks like a little hat. It does. It looks like a little hat. But it would be an awfully big hat. <laughs> On the bunny, it looks like one of those Jamaican hats. Ah, it's kind of funny. Um, it, it's like a hand mitten. Anyway. <laughs> but I guess for a, a 
baby mint, perhaps? <laughs> no, just joking. Anyway, um, I've actually made those before. Um, but this is the body of the bunny, which will end up being stuffed with the leftover remnants. Okay, we have leftover remnants of the scarf. And that is what, you know, I'm not going to use this, just shove the whole ball in there because we have leftover remnants of the scarf. And I'll just take that and shove it in here. And that'll be the same thing with the head. And now um, I'm going to try to make the cylinder legs and the cylinder arm and attach those as well. And you now I was thinking, do I just want to put on buttons as eyes? I'm I'm actually rethinking that I might want to do buttons as eyes. And put the smaller part aside for the limb. Um and all this will go for the head and the body. Uh so do I actually want to do buttons for the eyes? I might actually do that. So, I don't know. I just feel like this bunny should be a lot different than the other stuffed animals um, that I've done. Even though these are absolutely adorable. They really are. I don't know. This is like... But the yarn is different, so I feel like I just want to do it a little different. I have some white yarn. That's not the white. Um, <laughs> this is the white. So I have some white yarn for the tail, okay, and for a little bit on the belly, which I'm not sure I even want to do because I'm not too sure that, that really matches. So, um, it might. Um, but do I want to use it for, I mean, yeah, I am going to use it for the tail and maybe a little patch on the belly. I'm not sure if I want to do a patch on the belly. Um, I might leave that just the way it is because it's really creative. It's really cool. Um, and I love the colors. So, uh, let me get my scissors out and I'll show you what I do so that you guys won't see the loop just hanging out. And then we'll end this video for today is just, yeah, we'll just keep it there. Um, that way we start back off with the blue is I stick the crochet hook through actually through where the loop is not on the wrong side um, I stick the crochet hook through grab the, the loop try to grab that loop Pull it down, okay? Pull that loop down. Pull it as good as you can. Go back through that area. Then you loop that tail, okay? Hold on to the loop that you want to pull the tail through. Make sure that you keep your thumb on that. That's very important. Very, very important. And this is where you make your knot. It's when you make your knot right there. It's not that that's not important, but that's important not to have that there. Not, not jokes. It's not, not jokes. It's just jokes about knots. <laughs> just when we want to get naughty. <laughs> so, anyway, I got 
got to have a little humor here. Um, and again, you can also make something like this into a doll hat, which would be kind of cute. Look at that. See, if you turn it sideways, it's kind of a cute doll hat. Isn't it? That would be kind of a cute doll hat. But see, I'm giving you creative ideas. Um, so I guess this would be kind of the creative commons. See? YouTube, this is a creative common. There you go. Just poof. It's now a creative common. Okay. So it's like if you go into your advanced settings, you actually look down and you can go into the creative commons. That way it more advances your channel and also it makes it so that you can use the cards. I can use the cards if I want. Um, and um, also um, so that your channel is more advanced to being able to have the AdSense come in if the advertisers. Okay. Let's take um, Wawa, for instance. Yes, I went there today, and I ate something I shouldn't have had. Excuse me, because I had wheat. Um, a turkey, apple, and cranberry wrap. Very healthy, okay? Turkey, apple, and cranberry. Okay, so they see what you're doing, such as this, and... They may like it and it really helps out your channel because you have creative content you've approached how you do this in a particular way and your ability to be very cheerful let's say like pink butterfly she's very cheerful i like how she is a bit shy but you know what i like that um you actually bring everything out in your work and that shows which is good um, and, you know, let's say you're working on a project, but you actually want to pull a piece in. That's when I showed you how to do that. You just pull it in, but if you want to pull it in in every, even further, you can do that, but you have to weight it down with a button. And a lot of people don't do that, but you know what? When we really get into other things, I will teach you how to do that. But for now... It's the Easter crochet collaboration that we will continue tomorrow. So stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And I will see you guys for the next part of this bunny. So look forward to that, honey. Bye. See you then.